we're off to Southwold. About half an hour ago, it was blue and sunny. It seems to have clouded over. Hopefully, it's a bit better at the coast. We shall find out. Got the sat nav on today, just as a guide. band seal and it's hopefully still doing the job see it there <laughs> I'll crunch some miles and catch up soon so it's Saturday 14th of October to be honest this is probably the best day or the last good day <laughs> we're gonna have until probably spring now it's all downhill from now I couldn't have asked for a better day in October though, to be honest. It's lovely. So this morning I ran a, you can probably see it down here, that's a USB extension. I ran that from a USB socket under the seat, under the tank out there, and then this little USB cable to charge my phone. Treat. Cheap little holder mount. I've used it a couple of times but generally I don't really need it but it's good. The Orwell Bridge. Quite windy. Oh yeah, the endless roundabouts of the A12. Nice bit of road though. Albra, Southwold, all the way up to Lower Stoft, Great Armour. This is where it gets nice. I think it's all like 50 miles an hour, 60 or 50. roundabouts though, roundabout after roundabout. Woodbridge, another nice little place, little town. I don't know if you can hear but I've got the Google Maps voice going in my ears through the Bluetooth rather than having the screen on now. It's less of a distraction seeing stuff there. She just tells me the directions. It's pretty straightforward now though. Head straight on for 22 miles. They've just gone past Framlingham. I must have about 20 miles left. It's amazing how the scenery changes so much. What have we done? We've done 25 miles from home. And the scenery is so different. Different trees, different grasses. Cockfield Hall. Oh wow. It's this little thing. Oh, I hate level crossings. Oh, especially when we go slowly over them. Awesome. Old Honda. <laughs> Dunwich. Oh, how far are we are from there? Haven't been there for years. It's all falling into the sea, isn't it, there? The lost town of Dunwich. <laughs> I remember going there in primary school. I think we went fossil hunting and whatnot. This is a cool little bit. I think it's an estuary. But it turns, it turns into the river. Oh, why have they put them up? Last time I was down here, which was a long while ago, they didn't have that up there, you could see right out to the estuary. Why would they do that? Don't you pull out of me. Thank you. Alright, four miles to Southwold. I 
can see the sea. Wisdom, a tiger. <laughs> cup of tea, cup of tea by the sea. Tides in. A bit choppy. Choppy. It's so warm. So, so warm. It's like 20 degrees apparently. Degrees in October. Yeah, that's pretty brilliant. You will arrive at your destination. You will arrive at your destination. Oh, phaser. Uh -huh. I have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm heading out. <laughs> Harbour. Kiosk, that means tea. Oh god. That smelled really good. It smelled like good food. Cup of tea, I can get a cup of tea there. Oh, oh, oh. That was bumpy. That's shite. Oh, I hate gravel. Sizable over there, I think. That looks like fun. the south world found a nice cup of tea as a little cabin shed thing at the end of the car park so i went got a takeaway cup of tea went for a walk to the end of the little jetty thing look around the beach <laughs> world is alive. I have to come down here with the missus. Both the bikes. A little bit around the town as well then. Just a flying visit for me today. A cup of tea. A little stroll on the beach. And back. I don't know where the sun's gone. It was lovely when I set out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little journey. Give us a little thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye.